That's an enemy. It's a go 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 ghost. Oh my fucking slam specter. Items. Zauber. Blitz enemies with stunning moves. Conjure Zauber powers. Destroy foes. Action key Zauber slash. Cancel key stab dash. Start key. Is that a scan? Alright, so let's, let's get this rolling. How do you begin the, the actual attack? There you go. Oh, I see. Oh, that's pretty cool. Alright. You gotta hold it. And let go. Ah. I still got him. <laughs> Why is he on the ground just going? Oh god! I think oh, he, I think because like the sprite they took him from did that, and they just wanted to use it. Zomboler. <laughs> that was super weak. Oh. You go again. Yeah. Fuck. It's kind of a cool battle system. Huh? What's going on? Oh. Sh okay. Shit. Okay. I got it now. I got it. Yeah. Yeah. You sure? I think he's bouncing a soccer ball. Since all B-balls are destroyed, except for the ones in the catacombs. Yeah. That's a pretty strong. Why bother you anything else? That one does like three times the damage. <laughs> Got 80 experience and 42 Neo shekels. Nice. Balls. Oh, open up. Yeah, check out. What's this? Is this a sarcophagus? Yes, badly. It's the final resting place of a bottle long amongst the annals of history. It must be a time like to study the inscription around the sarcophagi and glean as much knowledge as I can about the bottles that reside within them. I'm a bit of a b-ball historian, you see. So where have you learned from? Oh, this and that. Most of that are about shoes or incredible plays. <laughs> Not the particulars, they are amazing. It's been one of the struggles for recent old ghosts. Quite specific detail what a disaster will take place in that 2053. It has to be a mistranslation or a bad calculation. There's almost no way this could happen. Like the chaos dark in Manhattan. No, no, don't get me wrong. This is a tragedy, but what I've been reading, it can only spell the disaster of mankind. Uh, I see. No, I don't think you do. Can you open it though? I thought you could. You should move on. Yeah, go over that one. So carcass, it's open. Yes, but I ancient b-ball man is hard to the dead to That joke, are you trying to bamboozle me? Joke's on you if you choose not to believe me. But forget about me, you're an old man stuck in your waist. You'll soon see the truth. We'll see about that. So he's an old man, yeah. but he looks exactly the same as he did when he was like 30. <laughs> Not sit right with you too. That's alright for me. Let's fight this guy. Ball brain. You know why not take like the, the basketball from one of these zombies and use it? I wonder what. some foul. <laughs> I wonder what game they got uh, this, this zombie sprite from. Uh, it's hard to say. I think we had like an interesting side game just to see what what games all the sprites were taken from. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you ask the makers. The Tales of Gamesers. That's a pretty cool battle system. It reminds me of Paper Mario. <laughs> yeah, these like Jordan, not Jordan's, uh, Barclays techniques are very much Paper Mario esque. <laughs> 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 I was never fortunate enough to see a Bible, but the text stated that two of you had a number of terrific showbacks. I believe the phrase that would have been used in your time was that you rocked the house. Drop the bass? <laughs> you can see an old greenhorn when it comes to pre 21st century bebop vernacular and colloquialisms. I shall take that as a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, fuck, that's funny shit. 
What's that statue from? I don't know. That was a Pantasia. Maybe. 69! <laughs> you know, 69, is, it, it's become like a, a wild joke in our culture, but it's still like one of the most convenient sex positions of all time. Yeah, it's pretty convenient. At least it's cooperative. Oh, wow, that was bad. It's, you still, you still I, I still got it, but can you see that though? Like, it, it lags so much. Yeah, sometimes it will like skip a couple frames of the movement. Yeah, so yeah. like, I don't know if this is actually... Shit. Oh, you missed that one. That, that one was just, that was just me. Yeah. <laughs> I got it anyways. Wait, you missed and it still killed him? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know how that works. <laughs> but I'll take it. I'll accept Can it. Can you imagine like, taking a gun and just like shooting somebody and just the bullet flies by and he just explodes? <laughs> yeah. You recognize her, don't you, Bartley? Teresa. You can see him slams with James. <laughs> <laughs> What's that got to do with me now? <laughs> Uh, These truly are dark times with you and yeah, That's pretty sexual, I think. That's just a b-ball, Teresa. Shit don't matter anymore. That's no place for b-ball in this world. I don't see the glory of slim jams when I see the statue. I see only broken dreams and hollow memories. And many used condoms. So be it. So many used condoms. That's the thing about basketball players. They always make sure to use condoms that they bring themselves because they don't want to get nobody pregnant. <laughs> yep. Billy Jean. I think I learned that on Sex and City. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why do you watch that shit? What the fuck? I think it's funny. Do you have a fucking penis? <laughs> I do. I just don't use it. <laughs> yeah, this, this apparently his best move is the one that just you don't even need to do anything for. Can you like press it multiple times and shoot off multiple fireballs? <clears throat> no, I think you're right actually. You're weird. I'll try it. Oh, it's bigger. It gets bigger if you hammer the button. This game actually started out as uh, an RPG Maker game, man. Eh? Yeah, I can tell. And they, they ended up just coding their own uh, their own engine for it. Because they, they wanted to put in shit like that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. It's like he's doing a worm. Charles Burke, we learned level two. Wait, we learned show level two. Jam. Oh, the hell, man. I'm fired level two. Water, Water Zauber. What are Zaubers? Uh, it's like tech moves, I guess. Like, yeah, but, well, I guess that, but like, do they, are they part of B Ball? That's an RPG Maker sound effect. <laughs> oh, that's totally RPG Maker, yeah. Oh, we're going to win this here. This is the tomb of Blair and Johnson. Blair, uh, never made a seen a man slam like he did. You get this look in his eyes, wild look, I told you that something's up. And you stick his dick right in your ass. And <laughs> slam it like a true Malma drama. There's so much I could have learned from him. It was a lot we all could have learned from him, Bartley. But there's no looking bad. Forget our mistakes for all lives. We can keep moving forward like he would have wanted. Yeah, you're right. Boys have to keep moving forward no matter how bad it hurts. Wait, what's this? Thank you, Larry, and goodbye. You got the b-ball tears from his corpse. <laughs> the b-ball tears? Oh, shit. <laughs> Diabetes, <laughs> Asperger's. Diabetes, glaucoma, Asperger's, and Parkinson's. <laughs> that is so <laughs> funny. Those are all the, the saddest effects. <laughs> so it's, caught, it's exactly seven feet, six feet tall. This has to belong to. Yeah, Sean Bradley. I was going through a difficult period of my life, and I wasn't so sure I could trust white people. Sean, <laughs> Sean helped me out and made me realize that it's not on the outside of the mouse, but the inside. He was a good Santa Bobby, but he was a better man. Goodbye, Sean. Thank you for everything. You know, like, most people are going to be dead anyways. Wait, what's, Wait, this? what's this? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Just gonna go back. I'm going to go back check out the other. Yeah. Snow statue holding Bebo? Yes, Bobby. Ring around a symbol as a ring of friendship form when Michael Jordan and the Looney Tunes became the stars in the Space Jam. The power of the ultimate b-ball was revered by ballers but also feared. We recognized that all limited potential of a ball contained the abilities of the best ballers ever, but also knew that if the ball got on the wrong hands, the damage could be irreparable. Don't come in, Mr. Listen. I was out of the Space Jam. I was part of the ball. I know firsthand the immeasurable power that ball contained. Don't picture that. 
you want correct. You don't need a history lesson. Let's move on. I forgot about that. <laughs> what, the ball? We're gonna have to watch Space Jam later. <laughs> Honestly, we got, we got, we have to. If we're playing this game, we gotta watch Space Jam. Yeah. The ball in the center, that is. Yes, Buckley. The ball. Well, it is not the actual ball we will trap. Oh, you're supposed to like look at this one before you get the scale representation of it. I studied the, in the tomb extensively on research and have found it a bit quite fascinating. Is the crypt of mugs and bones and Patrick Ewan. They were both in the ball with me. They were close friends of mine for the bird. Sometimes uh, I miss them. The ball. It contained massive powers. Oh, of course, you knew this. You were inside of it. You were the source of its power. Something I always want to ask you, Bob. It wasn't like to be trapped inside of a bee ball. Uh, I don't remember much. It was dark and I remember feeling so weak. But then again, there were hops in my b ball energy. <laughs> the ball. There's no doubt in my mind that once the wild stars won the Space Jam, they would use the ball for ill purposes. Perhaps even enough to move on. Wait, what's this? b ball shark. What is that? Hot shark. Dear, there's a ball of shark. What does this one say? It says, here lies Patrick Ewan. Born a slave, died a starting center. <laughs> Few of words have never been spoken. Just for the great people first. Said I was like a brother to him. Like the little brother you never had. I love this guy. My best friend, Patrick. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to say goodbye one last time. Let me give, what, give us, what, what give us a tear. Yeah. Yeah. This is the finest recipe of mugs and bowls. One of the finest born guys in basketball history. More than just a good point guard, he was a good friend. Uh, I was responsible for his death. He was one of the first killed in the great b ball parents. I never got to say goodbye. Wait, what's this? Well, what's this? The tears come from the sarcophagus. Thank you, thank you, Muxy. Thank you. Fucking Muxy Bugs, you're so fucking short. How short was he? Like five eight or something? <laughs> or like five, he was like average height. Oh, wait, you gotta go up. There's, there's more doors up there, too. Well, I think you're supposed to look at the first B-ball rather than the second. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's either way. Magic Johnson. This yeah, dude. He cured AIDS with money. Did he? It's a joke from South Park. The fact that like he was HIV positive and... Now he's not. And he survived, like he's still alive. Yeah. Well, he's basically just taking really good care of himself and... And he has money. Yeah, he's like getting really good medical treatment. Exactly. Actually, did you hear about uh, a little while ago they they found a kid who was a, who is HIV positive but has none of the symptoms? Uh, was yeah. that the baby? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like they're gonna try to like find out how the fuck he's surviving it, so they can try to try to, like he's not cured. He can still pass it on, I think, but he is not he's affected by it in any way at all. Like. Like he he's like an, an asymptomatic carrier of it, so like he he'll live a completely normal life, but he can still give other other people AIDS. So it's like they're gonna like do like crazy ass research research on him, so they can try to like find some kind of cure. Yeah, that's, that's pretty fucking crazy. Man. That is that is crazy. But it's it's hope. Yeah, hope for all the gays out there. For people that get HIV, gays. <laughs> Says the bisexual. <laughs> it's a joke, man. It's always a joke. Yeah. What's a statue? Life oh. is not always about the jokes. What's a statue? It's not a statue, but it's a canopic urn filled the entrails of one of the prehistoric ballads. The early ballads believe they put their internal organs in urns after death. The souls will find rest in the bee ball dimension. That's a ridiculous thing to believe. Prehistoric ballads? That the early balls were primitive peoples that used the gods to explain life and natural phenomena. For example, one of the inscriptions states that the ancient b-ball players believed that the thunder was a result of the gods playing basketball in the sky. <laughs> I wonder what Cliff Smith would say about that. I do not know. Man of these ballers were buried before the time of Cliff Smith. Let's go. Chris, the problem with having prehistoric ballers is that basketball was invented in Canada by a guy stealing peach baskets and saying, I named those baskets back! <laughs> <laughs> the guy was Canadian, but it was at the University of Massachusetts in 1896. I named those baskets back! Yeah, but I need these baskets back. You're thinking of those heritage moments. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes, you the are. Canadian heritage moments. <laughs> yeah. It's in particular, this 
spoon baffles me. What's that? It's the owner of a bottle, one G.W. Cobb or something who lived during the cyber apocalypse. That's now it's not the owner, there are hundreds if not thousands of bottles they own, but particularly interesting in script, it says Ernst Breeze slam for the sack of 100 sons. What's interesting about that? This man lived in the era of the cyber park of Barclay, if what the hieroglyphic state has proven in the book of B-Ball may need to be rewritten. The slam was not said to be invented until now on into the post-cyber apocalypse. This D.W. Kyle could be very well the originator of slams and jams. <laughs> At the very least, this could confirm the existence of this slam night. Oh, amazing. There's one hieroglyphic I can't quite decipher though. It seems to be a lagoon of some sort. I can only make this statement based on conjecture, but I believe it to be an ancient symbol of power. Perhaps the world will never know. For <laughs> fucking peanut. <laughs> ah, it's time to slam jam. Yeah, sure, well, it, it buffs him and also it hurts the guy. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> He used almost most of his magic though, look, that blue bar. He yeah. lost a ton of it. Yeah. Oh. No, wait, you, yeah, use his fire. Oh. You can't, can't actually, like, cancel his. No, you can't. You already, you gotta go over to that. Wow, that was bad. That was bad. It was terrible. No, use, um, Balthier's fire move. The firewall that hit all. What are the other ones? Oh yeah, Flame Sober is the one. Or Ice Sober, I guess. <laughs> I'm just curious. Oh yeah! <laughs> Trump. Miss. How does he bite you with a basketball for a head? I don't know. Logic! Oh no! He's gonna shit everywhere. Oh yeah, Monster Zero's Revenge is that, that thing you get when you go to Mexico, right? Yeah, when you, when you just shit against water. the water. Yeah. Shitting right now. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> Can you carry it? That yeah. item? Yeah, there's. I think. Uh... Well, steroids cures everything, but well, tobacco cures everything. Does he still have it? Check, check out the stats. Is there a status screen? No. That's it. Oh, no, there's not. I guess maybe you don't have. You don't keep uh, status effects outside of battle. So, yeah, I guess. And yeah, there's some good stuff on here. There is. There is. I mean, it's it's very much a, a Wii Sports type of game. Oh fuck yeah, yeah. yeah. and that's okay. I'm but okay you know, I had a lot of fun playing the Wii Sports tennis and like yeah. and all of that stuff. Is good stuff. Good stuff. All yeah. right. You got my grandmother active. No way. And then she died. Oh. oh. Which is sick. <laughs> no, I wouldn't say. <laughs> Those two events were unrelated. <laughs> Wow, this killed my grandmother. You're killing your grandfather, Smalls. <laughs>